Hi guys, it's Andy here from DreamWords.co.uk and today I'm just going to be showing you how to use an add-on called Firebug to edit web pages or edit the source code in HTML, CSS and JavaScript on pages anyway. So you can either get Fi Firebug, it's an add-on for Firefox, so you need Firefox to use it from getfirebug.com or if you go to addons.mozilla.org and search for Firebug I'm sure you'll find it. But I'll post a, a link in the description nevertheless. Alright, once you've installed it and opened up Firefox, we're just going to uh, go to the web page that you want to change. In this case, I'm going to use Facebook. And as you can see, we'll now have this little uh, Firebug icon in the corner here. And if you click that, it'll open up this panel. Or you can press F12. Or you can go to Tools, Firebug, Open Firebug. Okay, so once we've got this open, this just shows all of the source, uh, the source code for this page and we can now change any of it. For example, if I wanted to change uh, this text right here, I would press Shift, Control, and C, or click on this Firebug icon and go to Inspect Element, and then just hover over the element I want to change, in this case, this text. So I'd click on it, it would highlight the source code, and then all I have to do is change the text. Helps you stay in touch with friends. And as you can see, the text has changed. And you can do the same thing with anything on any element on this page. For example, if I wanted to change this logo, then I, all I would need is another logo here. I'm just going to copy the link to that. And then if I select this element and click here, um, if you, for this one, you could, uh, you can put the source code like so, but it'll just go over the top. So instead, we're going to go to the style here, the uh, CSS, and go to the um, Facebook logo image, and then we're going to change this file like so and we're also going to change this file and now as you can see it's just like that but this looks a bit squashed so we're just going to change the uh, height to let's say 100 pixels and now it's looking a bit better so as you can see it has uh, quite a lot of capabilities but you also have to be careful with if you know anyone who uses Firebug, if you're using their computer to log into anything, because uh, they can of course change all the source code without you even realizing. Because as you can, as you can see, it still says Facebook.com at the top, and it has the uh, whole icon there and everything. It looks exactly the same, except if, uh, they can mess with the source code. And an example of that is on the password here. Normally, when I type it in. Uh, it's all encoded and it has uh, like these black circles so you can't see what they're typing however if someone has firebug then we can select that element and change the input oops let me just make this a bit bigger and change the input but change the uh, type from password to text and now and now just minimize this nothing looks any different okay everything just looks the same and then when I go to type in the password it appears as text and it isn't encrypted so you have to be quite careful if you know that uh, someone is using Firebug uh, not to give away any information because people could really mess with you like that so be careful and apart from that that's pretty much it you can use this to play around with the web pages without actually having to save it so if you have your own web page then you could uh, play around with it in Firebug if you uh, create something that you like, you can uh, always just save it. You can uh, save the source code just by copying and pasting or whatever. So that's pretty much it. I hope this has helped. Have a nice day.